This video and this channel's content is meant for those that are 18 and over. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm here today to share with you some happy mail as well as um, some spring projects that I've been working on. So um, first let me share with you the happy mail and it is from Kat who used to be Lolly Thimble here on YouTube. But um, she, I'm not even sure when, but she's closed her channel because her channel is not found anymore. So um, I need to text her and find out what, <laughs> when did that happen. But um, she makes the cutest little projects and she is so super sweet. And um, she usually sends her packages in some type of cat paper. But look how cute this is. And it has like a pink foiling on it. Really, really cute. And I love that kitty right there. So adorable. Um, so in the package was this super, super sweet card and the heart moves and it says you make my heart smile, which is so, so, so cute. And these are foam and then there's a pretty paper and it's all on a pearlized paper backing. And then I know that she did this by hand. She, she's very, um, she's really awesome at drawing faces and, um, and like painting her, her projects. And then it's layered foam, and there's some stickles on there, and so a pretty cute little bow. And then there's some epoxy hearts, really, really cute. And then in the inside, it just says, Happy Valentine's Day, Love Cat, XOXO Cat. And then that's the little logo that she usually puts on the back of her cards. So, so cute. Cat, thank you so much. You make my heart smile, too. And I hope um, things are going well for you, but I will be messaging you um on um on Instagram and then this is what was in the package and it is so so beautiful look at all this beautiful lace at the bottom and she knows my color so she knows that I love pink so she sent this in a pink and a really beautiful um, tan color and it's a little um, some type of little box or round box it might even be like a Oh, it is. It's a, um, a hoop. Um, uh, not a yarn hoop. An embroidery hoop. <laughs> and, and it looks like it's vintage. Love the patina on that. And then she covered the back with some pretty fabric. And then the front as well. And then look at all these layers and layers and layers of trims. Another cute little bow with this, um, garment pin with the key on it really really beautiful and then right in the center is a heart made out of beautiful super 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 sweet little buttons and then there's still some trim here and some pretty flowers and some stamen and I just love all the dangling laces so this is something that I can hang definitely in my craft room I can hang it on the door I probably put it on the side of one of my bookcases that I have some other things that some um, crafty friends have made for me so thank you so 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 much Kat and I love that she even stamped the back of this with her cute little um, kitty stamp really really adorable so thank you so much Kat um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. And I, like I said, I will be messaging you on, um, on, on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to leave that right there because it's just so beautiful. And the paper, I'm going to try to make some paper clips or something out of the paper. Because uh, it's just super adorable. And then it even has these cute little hearts. Let me show you one of them. That cute little heart right there with the paw print in the center. Sorry for the glare. It's just really adorable. So I'm going to try to do something with the paper. Okay, so that is what I received in the Happy Mail. And so then I wanted to, like I said, share with you some of the um, spring projects that I've been working on. I've been posting some stuff on Instagram. Um, oh, and then I also had a tip for you that I found from a... Um, a YouTuber that does planner plan with me videos. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you are these super, super cute eggs. So I had seen, and I actually saw this after I had already done this, um, but Target has, I think it was like $10, and it was a box of what they call um, vase filler. 
but it was like these little speckled eggs. So I had purchased this pack of foam eggs from the 99 cent only store. And um, I took them, and these are, the, these are the only colors I have left. But you can see they're glittered, they're foam, they're really cute. But these are not the colors that I use. So I took some Robin, some Craft Smart Robin's Egg Blue paint and a little bit of black. And then I also took a, um, I think it was an Apple Barrel pink paint. And I painted, I didn't mix anything with the pink paint. I just painted over the foam eggs. And um, these are the blue ones. And they came out so cute. And even I have larger ones and smaller ones. And here's some of the larger ones in the blue color. And then to speckle them, I took this truffle, this Waverly truffle paint, chalk paint. And I mixed it. I put a little bit of that and a lot of water. And then I just took a paintbrush and splattered them. Put them in a bowl and then just splattered the paint um, all over, the watered down paint all over them. And they came out really, really cute. And it would make a pretty nice um, vase filler. But I didn't make it for that. I made it to use in some, some displays that I'm going to be doing in my dining room. So those are all the eggs that I made. Um... Before I speckled them, I did take some, and this is a this was an egg tree, and I did not take a picture of this before. Um, I tried to capture one, but it didn't quite come out that good. Here, here they are at um at the at the ninety nine cent only store. So you can see their little egg trees. They had all kinds of colors, yellow and blue and it was actually an aqua color they had pink but I wanted um I wanted them to be the same colors but not with the speckling so I did uh so here it is <laughs> and I actually added more eggs to it so I pulled off so the eggs were this tiny size right here and then also this other size right here so these two sizes were the eggs that were on the egg tree so I pulled some of them off and I replaced them with larger eggs and I used the pinks and the blues and it also already had these little berries on it so I left those I did not paint those but they blended right in but the eggs like I said that were on here was an aqua or like a turquoise color and so I painted those as well with the pink and the, the uh, mixed blue paint and these are the perfect color for for my decor so I just love the way that they came out so the egg tree, you'll also see that in my decor. Um, and then, let's see, what else did I do? Let me move this aside. And, um, oh, so taking some, oh, these are from Hobby Lobby. I bought these, um, I think last year sometime at one of the Hobby Lobby awesome clearance sales. <laughs> so they had them. They're like uh, little wooden bead garlands with an alpha. They had all had a different alpha on it. I bought like four of them. Um, and I just take them and then I re-alter them to, you know, to use in my decor. So this is one that I did to use in my spring decor. So I took that same Robin's Egg Blue mixed with a little bit of black paint to make this really pretty I don't even know what color this is but it's the perfect color for my for my dining room decor um, but I just painted that I just took all the beads off I actually put them on a chopstick and then I painted them and then I strung them back onto the same jute twine I took this off I did not paint it you can see the back is still that um, brown color the original brown color I think I did paint did I paint I must have painted the front and then um, I used a glue stick and one of these beautiful napkins that I got from um, Tuesday morning. I already had this in my stash. So I took the nest off of it and I just put the glue stick. And this is a technique that I learned from Vicki who is TryHard67. She's been doing some really, really beautiful cards and things and envelopes just using glue stick and napkins. And it gives you a different finish than using um, Mod Podge. So I, I love the way it comes out. So I wanted to try that and so I tried it on this wood piece. So I just spread, covered the whole thing with glue, 
from a glue stick and then put the napkin and one of the things is it doesn't the napkin doesn't get saturated like it does with Mod Podge so it keeps its texture and it still feels like fabric or like a napkin and um, I, I just love it and then I cover the side with washi tape and I'll show you that washi tape in a second because I used it on something else so I did those and so then the next items are these these are some wooden carrots and the sticker is still on the back that I got from Home Goods for $2.99. And I just love them. They were this natural wood color and they already had the writing on it. So this one says Hippity Hop and this one says Bunny Bait. And I love them but I wanted to change them up a little teeny bit. They already had the raffia stem. So what I did was I pulled out some um, Easter or spring related washi tape. And this one is a Bow Bunny washi tape that I purchased last year from um, Tuesday morning. It, it goes with a collection that they had last year and I did see that same collection and the same washi tape this year at Tuesday morning so they have it out there again. Um, really really cute and then this one I do not it was in my stash I don't know where it came from I'm thinking it came from Hobby Lobby but I'm not sure and you'll see it better on my projects. Oh it's upside down. No it isn't. Oh this is the right way. Okay. <laughs> And then this is another washi tape from Hobby Lobby. So here's the one with the bunny. So cute. It's just the most adorable washi tape. Really, really cute. And I did go all the way around. And then including on this up to the sides. And then I added a jute twine, a double jute twine bow. And that's all I did to it. Just to dress it up a little bit and to make it a little bit different than what you find in the store. Now this one here is that bird and nest washi tape. So beautiful. And then it left a bigger gap than this one on the end. So then I just took this cute little washi tape here and put it on the border. And again, I went all the way around the carrot, including up to the stem, and then added the double layered jute twine bow. So those are my washi tape kind of carrots. Um, love, love, love those. And then another thing that I did with napkins, and I used some of this napkin here, and this is another napkin from Tuesday morning. Um, it was only $2.99, and I think this is one that Vicky did show on one of her videos, but the blue in here is perfect for my projects. So I took some eggs, and I just took this I actually took some eggs that I had already in my stash because <laughs> I wanted to try it and then it it um, actually had them in a display in my kitchen. So then I went and I purchased more. So these came from um, Michaels and the Createology and they're just um, um, eggs. They're unfinished, they're matte, really cute and you know it has is they're calling them plastic crafting eggs. They were $4.99, but when I went, I think all the, the Easter stuff was 40% off, plus I had an additional 20% off coupon. So um, I did these eggs, again, using the same technique with the, the, um, the glue stick and the napkins. So with this napkin, I actually took it and I cut out the um or either I ripped it with you know just holding it in place and ripping it um I cut out some of the butterflies and the um flowers and there's a really beautiful frame right here so um if you didn't know or if you don't know about napkins I'm going to just show you really quickly these say that they are three ply napkins so what that means is there's two layers of white and then one layer or and then the top layer with all the pattern on it. So you need to peel off those two layers. So here's one right here and then here's the second one. Uh, okay. And then you just peel that off and um, be very careful so that you don't rip it. But they usually come apart really easily. And I use, usually save this part for like cleanup or wiping down something or whatever. Um, and then this part is what you're going to do your decoupaging with. 
So, um, I just, here's the piece that I was using last. So, like, there's some really pretty gray flowers here. There's another little butterfly. Like, that butterfly, I would just put my finger over it and then rip it like that. And then I have that butterfly. And kind of the, um, the paper kind of just melts into, I mean, if you hold it up really, really close, you can see the border. But in a display or when it's not that close to you, the, the, you know, the, Paper, the paper backing just melts into um, the egg and you don't really see that what you're seeing is the images that are popping so here's a beautiful bird they the, the napkin has a bird that's facing that way and then here is is this the one yeah and then here's the other one that's facing that way and then it has multiple sizes of butterflies so I just cut those out or either rip them out and then decoupage them and then here's one of those pretty gray flowers. Here is, I also took one of the words off of the napkin. So they just came out really, really pretty. And then this is one, this is one of the um, eggs from the Dollar Tree. They are colored and they're speckled. They look like this. And I just took the purple one out because I wanted to use one that I most not, most likely wouldn't use like plain on its own. And then I did the same technique but I used this napkin and I had it and I cut out big pieces of it so you can see here's the big bird so there's a couple of birds there and then there's the nest and then I cut out the nest and then there's the other bird and then I just didn't like the way that it came out and then also because I can my mind can see that it's a purple it's purple underneath the napkin and I didn't really like the way that it turned out I think it would have been better if I had painted it um, white or cream or something like that. But I really prefer these with the small, with the less, where there isn't like full coverage, and the pattern to me pops out better. Um, so then this one, I used this same napkin, but I went more for the frame with the burgundy flowers, and I just lined it. I went all the way around, kind of like the bottom of the egg with that, and then. Um, and then just left the top plain. So it came out really, really pretty as well. So those are also going to be used in some displays in my craft room. And then, um, okay, so now let me show you something that's very much still in progress. I haven't finished it. Um, I need to finish covering it. And then I wanted to add a bow and then some flowers. And I'm going to show you a before picture of it. And it I found at the Dollar Tree and I only saw it at one store <laughs> and they only had one so I don't know if these are all over or um, are only at one store so this is it right here it's this really it's a pretty big it's probably about 14 inches maybe a bunny oh, I keep pressing it it's a bunny that was covered with, um, oh, I think I threw that stuff away. It was covered with this material, and then in the center it had this really big plastic lavender and white bow. I have seen these at the Dollar King. If anybody lives in Southern California and they're looking for those, I did see them at the Dollar King, and they had them with different color. They had lavender, but they also had pink. They had blue bows and all that. So this is the stuff after I pulled it off. And then this is what the bunny looked like when I was done. And you can see there's little pegs. So this material was not glued on to the frame. It was just wrapped around all the little pegs. So I thought that was really cool because there was not... The only glue that was on there was to glue the bow to the material. And that was it. So I did cut off all the little pegs because I wanted my edges to be smoother. And so this is what I have so far. So um, I used some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I used one whole spool to cover the, the this part right here. And then I had enough to cover half of the face. And then I took another spool and I covered this side and now that it's in the light I can see that this side's a little bit darker than this side hopefully that won't bo bother me too. <laughs> hopefully it won't bother me too much 
or it won't I won't see it as much once I'm done with it I also took um, the the scarf that they have this um, gingham scarf I had cut this in strips for another project but I took um, one of the remnant pieces of that and I put it in the ear so the ear I took the burlap and I cut the burlap into strips and I glued it from this side around underneath and then to this side so that this center was still a channel and then I covered that channel with the gingham fabric and then I used these chenille stems from this is Hobby Lobby I'm pretty sure and they're, Den they're chenille stems by Doris and they're fluffier than regular chenille stems so here's the fluffy one <clears throat> and then here's a regular one so you can see the difference so I use this one um, at first I use this one <laughs> and then I um, put the fabric and then I use that one and then I kind of like missed some areas so then I went back with the thinner one just on the edge and I like the way it came out and then I just took um, this second burlap trim from Hobby Lobby it's the one that has this lace running down the center but I just pulled the lace off and then I used, reused the lace to cover over the top of the, the bunny surface and then also I used a piece to tie a bow so I am planning on finishing it I want to put a big um, gingham bow right here and then add some greenery and something else I don't know what else <laughs> I have to figure it out but it's gonna be like a bunny wreath and I, I'm loving the way that it's turning out so far but I will come back and show you the fi the finished project once I am done with it okay and then the last thing now there's two more things I want to show but they're both kinda like related So, I had purchased this, <clears throat> this sales order book from a local a dollar store that's close to my job. And I like them because they were big. They're 8.5 by 11. They are, um, you get two copies. It even has a carbon in the back. So, it has the yellow copy and then the white copy. So, I took them and then I decided to see if they would print on my printer at work and it did so I was super happy with the way that it turned out especially for junk journals or for projects where you want to layer and use um, some like vintage looking papers so here's one of my favorite patterns this is a pattern from um, Cameo Shop which was an Etsy store but they've since closed since I purchased these probably like a year or two ago but I love this pattern and it's on the white copy and then here's the same exact copy but on the yellow copy or the same exact um, digital but printed on the yellow copy so you can see how different they look but very very beautiful and then these are just some other um, images or digitals there may be one or two patterns here from um, KSP by Louisa who is now my crafty boutique um, but I didn't write down which ones were which but I know that this one and this one are from cameo shop for sure sorry about that I hit the camera and then here's another one from her I think Ooh, I don't remember um, so that's pretty bird images and then these are some Easter Easter postcards printed on the sales orders and then these are some tags some spring looking tags printed on the yellow copy but they just came out really really pretty and I just love 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 the way those turned out so I've been playing around with those and then um, so the information that I got from um, Donnie H who is a youtuber that does a lot of planning and plan with me videos 
was something I kind of already knew about and I um, already had one of the pins but then she showed a different pin so then I purchased that one so um, I guess it's the old school way of of, um, <laughs> of foiling something but you know since people have the the mink and, or the laminator is now kind of like the you know those are the the new school ways of foiling so this is kind of taking a back burner but deco foil has this pen which I had purchased from Hobby Lobby from th for $3.99 and I did use um, a coupon I already had a lot of deco foil foil in my stash but the pen it shows them here just ha free handwriting and then putting the foil on it but on the back reading the instructions it says to um, you know to apply the the pen on to something to write something or trace something or whatever and let the glue dry for 30 seconds to a minute and then cut a piece of foil and put it over it but then it says um, to apply the foil to the ad adhesive pen design there's two options you can use a laminator or you can use a die cutting machine so the laminator would use heat and the die cutting machine would use pressure and um, you know to apply the foil I didn't do either one of those I just put the foil and then I like burnished it with my fingers and it came out okay but the problem is that let me show you this pen the nib is kinda big so if you're trying to do some small writing or tracing something that's tiny or to put a little bit of detail on something this isn't gonna work that great because you're not gonna get that fine of a line of detail and then I was watching Donnie's video and she mentioned these quickie glue pens which um, she got from Amazon and this six pack was about 17 no it wasn't I think I got it for like 13 14 dollars something like that so um these have a 0.7 millimeter tip which is very very small so here is another one of the um <clears throat> of the sale slips that i printed this vintage pattern on it and then here is something that i foiled so everything that you're seeing was part of what i printed i just went over it. it's like a french sale slip so I just went over it. I just traced over it with a pen, with a glue pen, and then I took just a remnant piece of um, Heidi Swap foil and gold, and I put it on it, burnished it with my fingers, and peeled it up, and it came out like that. So I absolutely love this. And when Donnie was showing it, she was actually doing it on a planner kit that she had that didn't have foil, and she was adding foil to that planner kit. Um, but look, look how beautiful this is, and I didn't have to run it through any kind of heat or pressure. I just used my fingers and the glue pen, and it came out perfect. Again, this works pretty much the same, except the nib is bigger than this one, which is a .77, so you can get finer detail with that. So those are my project shares, and also the beautiful, beautiful Happy Mail from Cat. So um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you're having a really good day. I will be coming back and sharing with you some more of the um, spring and Easter decor that I'm working on. And then I hope to show you a video of um, my dining room once I'm done and all put together and all decked out for, for spring and Easter. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And as usual, I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye.